impact of the deadly shooting is being felt in LGBTQ communities across the country, including our area. CBS 2's John Diaz reports on how the community here is responding and has the latest on how a local bar is proving hate crimes won't stop them. It's a symbol of resilience. The owners of the gay bar Verse in Hell's Kitchen posting this picture on Instagram of a brick next to their broken window with the caption, come by and join us for a drink, hashtag business as usual. Police say this man used that brick to smash the bar's front window Saturday night, throwing it as people were gathered inside. It's the third time something like this has happened to the bar in recent months. Authorities recently released this new video of the suspect who is still at large and are investigating the incident as a hate crime. One in five hate crimes are LGBTQ plus focused right now. Jonathan Lovitz is the president of the LGBT Chamber of Commerce. The NYPD says hate crimes against the community are up 46 percent. This is not going to scare us away from be, from going where we deserve to be and being where we should be all the time. And after five people were killed and 17 others shot in Colorado Springs Saturday night at an LGBT nightclub, detectives say likely fueled by hate. The heartbreak those are experiencing there is stretching further than the tallest peak of the state's Rocky Mountains, making its way to Asbury Park, New Jersey yesterday, where people in the community came together for a candlelight vigil to remember the victims of the shooting massacre. We stand in solidarity against these senseless acts of violence, and we wanted to come together as a community and show our strength. John joins me now. And John, the LGBTQ community often talks about allyship. So yeah. what is everyone saying about Richard Fierro's actions? I mean, he's going viral. Yeah. Let's be, in, yeah. in our community, everyone's talking about his strength, his heroism. You know, he's, he's a hero, mm -hmm. you know, and this is what the LGBTQ community needs more. You know, I'm a proud, openly gay man. I'm not trying to speak for all the gay people mm -hmm. out there. But from what I've seen is we do need more allyship. You know, we do need these allies. And you don't have to jump in front of bullets and take down a gunman or, right. you know, someone to be an ally. You can just be a good person and accept the community. Well, I'm just, everyone's so grateful he was there. I can't even imagine what would have happened if yeah. he didn't step he, in. You know, unfortunately, five people lost their lives, yeah. 17 other people shot. But man, it could have been so much worse. The detectives out there, you know, saying that he really is a hero. Him and that performer really stepped up to the plate and they really risked their own lives for yeah. people at that board. You know, his family was there, right? His wife, his daughter, his daughter's boyfriend, mm -hmm. who tragically lost his life in it. He was trying to save them, but then everyone else at that bar that he didn't even know. Wow. John, thank you very much. Thank you,